Hi guys, in this video we'll show you how to fix or replace micro switch from door lock module on Volkswagen Skoda Seat and Audi in just 4 simple steps. So, this is a door lock module that fits for Volkswagen Golf MK4, MK5, Jeddah, Passat B5, Passat B5.5, Polo, Charan, Skoda Octavia MK1, Skoda Octavia MK2, Fabia, Superb, Audi A3, TT A, A4, B5, Seat Leon, Ibiza, Toledo and many others. To disassemble the door lock module you need to use a T10 or, and a T20 Torx and also a flat blade screwdriver. There's also some door lock models that you have to use a T8 Torx for uh, remove that screw from the top. So you will need a T10, T20 and T8 Torx for remove for this assemble or door lock module. So if you can see there is a long cable that comes from the interior latch used to open the door from inside. So we will remove this cable using a flat blade screwdriver just pop it out and take the cable out from the door lock mechanism this is it we will use a door lock module from the passenger side so now we will close the door and lock the door lock okay and then when you pull that cable that short cable it will open the door so when you pull that long cable that is from the inside door handle you also open the door but when you pull down from that plastic part, where is the locking knob or locking rod and shows you if the car is locked or unlocked, you lock or unlock the door. So the micro switch is on the bottom side. So this micro switch detects whether the door is open or closed by monitoring the position of the latch. So you have to to take it out. You just have to remove it using a cutter or a flat blade screwdriver to cut those white plastic joints but we will not use this door lock module we will use another door lock that is more often used on Volkswagen models so we will put this on the side and this is the door lock module that is more often used on Volkswagen models so first we will remove that part away from the micro switch using a flat blade screwdriver it's very simple you just have to use a, a thin flat blade screwdriver
Then use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the micro switch, putting it inside. So this is the, the micro switch which has two wires, a blue and a red wire. So as you can see, the accumulated, accumulated dirt can get inside the micro switch and it will not work properly. So sometimes you just have to clean the micro switch and that's it it will work or you have to replace it so we will clean it just to see the micro switch better So this is it, there, there is a small button in the top of the micro switch that tells you when the door is locked or unlocked. You can find a new micro switch for Volkswagen Skoda Audi set in the video description below. So there is a problem with the micro switch when the center locking is not working properly. Check the micro switch from the driver's door lock module or the car still relocks itself even if you open the door. The interior lights will not turn on while you are opening the door. The door warning lights will not turn on while you are opening the doors. The audible warning is not working when you are forgetting the headlights on probably faulty switch on the driver's door lock module. The indicator light on the dashboard which shows that the doors are open no longer lights up. For petrol models, the switch on the driver's door lock activates the fuel pump when the door is opened. If the comfort module does not receive confirmation from the switch that the door has been opened, it may happen that the doors are locked with the key forgotten inside the car. So these are the problems when your micro switch is, is not working or it's a, it's a problem with it. So you have to clean it or replace it. The price for a new micro switch is between 3 or 5 euros. It's very cheap. If you want to replace it, you just have to cut those red and blue wires from the switch or you can remove it from the circuit board using a low, low wattage soldering iron. So you can do in both ways, doesn't matter, you just have to replace it if it's broken. If your door lock has no issue with this micro switch, then I recommend you watch episode 2 in which I'll show you what should you replace to fix the door lock module. In, in episode 2 we will disassemble the electronic part to see the problem. If you don't want to cut the wires from the old micro switch, you'll have to disassemble the lock module we'll, and we will show you that in the episode 2 and resoldering the wires from the new micro switch. So if you can see there's two joints that those two red arrows indicate. If you have any suggestions about new tutorials, let us know in the comment section.
Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.